Kia ora Cyphers, I am your host Emerald and welcome to some more Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. Last time, we finished Shovel of Hope. This time, we're starting a new playthrough. The thing about this game is that it has multiple campaigns, and it's not just changing the characters, it's quite literally an entirely new campaign. Today, we will be starting, as teased in the final episode of Shovel of Hope, I don't have a script, because why would I? This is a let's play. Uh, we are going to be playing Plague of Shadows. Now, Plague of Shadows is quite different from Shovel of Hope. Uh, I'm sure you can just figure out why as we play throughout this. This saga. It says right there, Toss Bombs on this tricky alternate quest. We will be picking Plague Knight and Plague of Shadows. But one thing, is that before we do that, ah, uh, this is going to be my first, like, series where I decide to do video editing. It'll usually just result to me, like, putting an intro and outro, a, maybe a boss description, or, like, a description of the level we're playing at any given point. Uh, this will be probably further elaborated, starting with our first actual stage. Because this today is just going to be like really a test, but uh, yeah, let's watch this. Let's play this, shall we? Let's begin our Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows campaign. I don't want to press that. Okay, the thing I'm noticing is that like today and yesterday actually, uh, the gamepad was being a bit funny with its stick. Like this. I'm not pressing anything. I like touch it slightly. Look up. No, hopefully it won't bother us. Hopefully. Me. Eh. Name our profile Cypheris because I can. Not Cypheris. Sis, 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 sis. <laughs> Despite this game being so classic, I keep I keep thinking that it's supposed I'm supposed to press start to skip to done. But no, that's not how this works. Oh well. Let's start this immediately. Plague of Shadows. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. But villainy ran rampant, and in time, even the most stalwart heroes fell. In the absence of champions, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter swept into power. Unbeknownst to everyone, the maniacal alchemist Plague Knight had plans of his own. He sought nothing less than to concoct a potion of unlimited power. A draught so fiendishly potent that nothing he desired would be out of his reach. Each knight unknowingly guards a crucial ingredient. Now, the collection must begin. Uh oh, the boss is on his way. We've got to get him. we've got to get back to the lab fast. I don't want to get experimented on. Just hold way to charge and bomb us out of here. Come on, hurry up! Okay, not the strongest intro, but in comparison to Shovel Knights, at least. Not the intro itself, the intro itself was amazing. What are you doing here? Just hold Y to charge and bomb us out of here. Oh, also be sure to listen when someone is talking, you can miss something important. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever seen that guy there. To be fair, I haven't played this campaign much. But yes, here is Plague Knight. He does not control, like, Shovel Knight. Same general buttons, like you press B to jump, you press Y to... Uh... Attack. 
what you're seeing me do here and what the freaking plague knight plague mask dudes said in the intro is bomb bursting now as you can also see plague knight has a very short jump he also has a double jump which allows him to get higher it's like slightly taller than shovel knight but like not by much but that's where the bomb burst comes in now most people tend to use the bomb burst this thing after they double jump like that which can be useful for getting higher like strictly higher but personally i think that using the bomb burst first to clear giant gaps is much much better no bubble here well i have the bomb burst now also notice i'm collecting these funny looking green coins okay here's a perfect example of when to use the bomb burst now those are cypher coins and we'll get to those in a bit when we actually start using them health tonics now plague knight does not get as much health as shovel knight does in this game he gets like i think seven by the end of the game he doesn't have like a village or a gastronomer he relies on health tonics generally to like prop him up i don't think i actually got them on me do i oh no i do i do i can see them now it's been a while it's been quite a while so basically if you pop one of these health tonics like uh how do i do this so it gives me an extra bubble now that bubble goes away if I die. So when you use them, you gotta be careful because as you can see, the number went down from five to four. This is, they, they still count as your actual health. But, so like they will replenish. It's not like they're just kind of there. Like if if you lose all the health in that bubble, it's still there if you want to, re if, if you're still restoring health. So it's like, if you get hit, who cares? If you die though, that's a different story, like I said. Now Plague Knight is incredibly customizable, we'll also get to that eventually. Generally what I do generally what I do when I have tonics is that if I'm about to get another one, I pop one of them. Because then I just have more health. And if I'm feeling incredibly confident on the boss and I haven't died yet, of course I'll crank out as many as I need to. Now this this campaign is a lot trickier than Shovel Knight in Shovel Knight's campaign, that's because Shovel Knight controls like he controls like any standard NES character. Whereas Plague Knight, he controls like much like some something else. Not a standard NES character, that's for sure. You could not do this on an NES, I don't think. Now the bomb burst can also double as a weapon, as I will demonstrate here. Or not there actually, I'll demonstrate demonstrate here. As you can see, he got hurt. Because no, the, the damage scaling is the exact same as Shovel Knight's. Like, the bombs don't do any extra damage than just swinging the shovel around. But Plague Knight doesn't have a shovel, so he relies on his bombs. Lucky for him, that's what he prefers. So it's not like we're making him do something he doesn't want to do. This is his quest, he decides to go on it. Yeah, this is the stage. It's quite the fun stage. Here, this is a nice challenge room. I really like this room. Because I die a lot. <laughs> this room teaches you the mechanics of bomb bursting and lucky for you, there is a checkpoint right here. These cypher coins, like I said, I'll get to win a bit. Now, what you cannot see is something that I can see. And that is this menu here. I can always see this on the gamepad because I play this on the Wii U because Wii U is the best version. Um, Plague Knight was incredibly customizable, as I said before. This will fill up with a lot more things as we move on. Arcana is basically the relics. We'll get some of those later. As you can see, my health tonic count went like my health went from five to four after I put the health tonic, and then I died. Hints what I mean by. You will, if you die, you will lose all the health tonics that you've used. You won't lose the health tonics you've got in your inventory. No, they'll stay there. They'll be a slightly on the unfair side. But yeah. 
Now, this is described as an alternate quest, but I like to think it takes place, like, parallel to the original Shovel Knight journey. Uh, except for, like, certain parts. Again, I think... I saw the final boss, like, quite a while ago, but I never beat this campaign, ever. I have played it, like I've said, but, like, yeah, never, i never beaten it, so no spoilers. But I do remember seeing the final boss at some point, but I don't remember exactly what it is. It's something. And something just went boom, but I don't care. Plague Knight, as you, if you probably noticed by now, Plague Knight, like, when he bombs something, they, they just blow up. And, like, Shovel Knight has to dig that. Out of the way, Cypher Coin, now there are 30 Cypher Coins in every stage. Uh, almost every stage. Or every stage, yes. And what makes that good, is that you can revisit those treasure stages that you couldn't revisit previously. Now, this is one of my favorite screens. As you can see, I keep scrolling back here. That's because I can do this. I can just fly. It's so much fun. Except I don't want to fly because I want to grab everything. Now, Plague Knight can move, change his momentum just as easily as Shovel Knight could. You know, that's all good. But he has no way to jump off these bubbles, so whenever you see these bubbles, it's like, well, you know. Also, you might have noticed by now that he takes, like, what appears to be double the knockback. Like, we know that Shovel Knight would never go that far. He would never do that. He would never go that far. I think we're back at that one screen. No, we're here. Oh, well, we're back at the fun screen. Ha <laughs> ha! Like, and I can get out of so many tricky situations. I don't actually have to kill that guy, do I? No. See, this is why I like to use the bomb burst, uh, the double jump after the bomb burst, because then I can reposition myself, because it's hard to reposition with the bomb burst. Except for, like, until you get a certain power up that you find later. Thank you, game, for being generous. Letting those guys, like, not annoy me at all. How many Cypher Coins have I got? I got 28. I will be trying to collect all the Cypher Coins in the game. It's because it feels really gratifying to have collected everything. So, of course, I'm going to do it. Unlike Red Skulls, which we'll find later when we do Split Knight's campaign. Uh, like these, these are everywhere, like everywhere. Here's a perfect instance of what I mean. I'll do that. Now this fight isn't particularly difficult, so you know. I won't pop any more, but still. Oh god, I cannot do the Black Knight's voice very well. How am I gonna do this? Listen, 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 listen. Listen to me. Sure, listen to me, Magicist. I know you're aiding him in his quest for the ultimate potion. Ultimate, um, what? I haven't seen him since he fled to join the Order of No Quarter. I now speak in, I must speak in my natural accent because otherwise it sounds weird. It sounds really weird. I just, I just have to tune my voice. Ah. Chemical trickery. You can't fool me. I know he plans to use the potion to beguile you. Wait, me? What are you insinuating? Oh, oh, someone's coming. Oh, it's the panicky pushover. Is winning, is winning the Magicist's heart worth betraying your allies? <laughs> well, I'm going to a really deep voice, just hoo hoo hoo. No. Hee hee hee. What? Where in the world did you hear that? And I know you plan to gather ingredients. The only worse thing, the, o the only thing worse than a deranged alchemist is a traitor. Do what you will with the order, but none threaten me, enchantress, and live! Right, now here begins the Black Knight fight, you know, just 
the standard same fight as we had before. Now we... He, he does the exact same things. It's, the only difference is that we have different abilities. Now that can make the fight both harder and easier. Because Black Knight... He is designed to fight against Shovel Knight. So the fact that I can basically just fly around and he stays mostly to the ground. Is... That just makes this fight easier. Since he does fly again into the air, then you know. Okay, that had to be frame perfect. That had to be frame perfect. I don't do that. He will fall relatively quickly. Well... That was the Plains of Passage. Uh, sure. Let's go to this village. <laughs> now, this is gonna be interesting. Halt! No weapons allowed! Wait a minute! Let's just pretend I don't recognize you and you can go safely on your merry way. This doesn't have to get messy. And don't you show your creepy bird face around here again, freak. And he's really mad. Okay, no, I cannot barely stand on that roof. I never actually tried doing that before. Oh look, it's another cipher coin. I believe in this stage there are four. Let me check real quick because I don't want to miss any. Yep, there are four. Hey, Plague Knight, I'm still guarding your secret entrance, but I lost the key. The locksmith should be here in a week or two. Maybe you could wait until then? Why would I ever do that? <laughs> I'm a nefarious knight, I don't have to do good deeds like that one guy. What's his name? Oh, look, I blew the house up. Well, I guess I'm cancelling that locksmith appointment. This is the house I grew up in. Oh. Oh well, I'm I'm Plague Knight. I don't I don't need rules. Okay, well let's keep walking. Let's keep ah. Who is that? Coitus. He's gone. I should be reading this. Okay, so this is Mona. I don't know if you remember her. Uh, she was in Shovel of Hope. And she was at one, like, that mini-boss room. That's where this is. Anyways. Alright, I guess we'll continue from where this is. Uh, look. All I need to worry about is just final ingredients. We're stuck languishing here in obscurity until then. Yes, he he he. The essences. I shall pay our friends a little visit and ha ha. Ha. Borrow them. Right, and while you're doing that, I'll keep researching ways to get more... Bang for our buck. Know what they say, the bigger the explosion, the better the alchemist. Yes, hehehe, <laughs> let's get to work. Oh boy. It's a liver, a liver, 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 not liver, liver, and corpse. Well, we made it down to this random place. Whoa, hehehe. <laughs> These lifts never cease to both amuse and nauseate. Truly a dizzying display of technology. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the Potionarium. So, what are we working on? That's it then, huh? Well, safe travels out there. This is Plague Knight's base for most of the game. He does get access to the armor outpost. But like, I wouldn't call them the exact same. Oh, hello, Plague Knight. Black Knight tried to interrogate me, but I think I threw him off the trail. Whether it's business or personal, don't worry. Your secret is safe with me, Plague Knight. Anyway, yes, uh, of course, you would uh, like potions, would you? Ah, yeah. I'm gonna buy this prematurely before I explain what Arcana does, which will be next episode. Next episode, I've got a lot of explaining. Okay. Does anyone remember Percy? Maybe. Maybe not. I think you might. I think it was on that roof that one time. 
Ah, oh, Plague Knight, my good friend, a moment of your time. How can I help you, Percy? I've run out of paper, and I can't fit any more ballistic formula on my hoof. I'm in desperate need! <laughs> Do you need glue as well? I know how we can make some. <laughs> oh, why, thank you, but just the paper will do. And by the way, you're looking a bit forlorn lately. Maybe I can repay your kindness with some love advice. Oh boy, there's dancing. My ally, that's four sheets of paper you've brought me. 500 gold for each! What is this folly? There's some sort of musical notation scribbled all over it. On both sides! There's no way for me to write. Useless. Into the trash it goes. What a blockhead. <laughs> no. That could be an issue. Oh yeah, here's the last two cypher coins, apparently. And meet Oolong. Otherwise known as the Bard. Huh. Everyone works so hard down here. Yes, and Oolong want to help. Can help. Can make musics. But got tired, fell asleep, went awake. Forgot almost all musics. So sad. Poor Oolong. We'll think very hard, maybe remember more musics. Then, I help. I help science! Oh, I spent a long time to remember musics. I can play good song. Will be good treat. So, Dr. Knight, Oolong ready. Listen some musics now? Want to help. Oolong has no good fight. Get dent into head tubes. Oolong is nice. He looks really strange, but yeah, he's nice. Man Amoeba, we won't worry about her today. Or ever. I might explain her. Mm -hmm. I might explain her some other time, maybe. Yes, we have uh, villagers or minions walking around down here. They they give they do give you important advice, well important advice. But if you felt like it, if they give you stupid advice, like no one knows the magic is helping us, she's really risking her neck. I can just do this if I felt like it. No, this mess. I can just say no. I don't need humans. This is how. This is basically Chester at home. But Chester still appears in this game, and you'll see when and how. Now, I'll talk about these cyber coins next time. We're starting our episode next time in here. Because it makes thematic sense. At least to me, it does. Okay, I'm done whistling. I am done whistling. Well then, Cypher's... Cypher Squad. Let's back out and we'll explore the rest of this wonderful land of... Witchcraft and wizardry. In the next episode, where we'll take on the decadent dandy King Knight. Kaki the Cypher's, take care.